property. So this is just like 6.1 except for more steps. So another tool for solving equations is by using the distributive property. So we learned this back in like 4.2 or 4.3. Um, in addition to the distributive property, we might also have to combine like terms. So that's what we did in 6.1. So now that you know how to combine like terms, I'm assuming that I can throw any question and that could include it and you should still be able to do it. So let's review the distributive property. This is a review. Um, so if you see a number right next to a parentheses, that means you are multiplying. So whatever number is in front of it, you can, you know, I like to draw arrows and you're multiplying it by both. So we have negative 2 times 4x and then we have negative 2 times negative 7. So that turns into negative 8x plus 14. So don't forget a negative times a negative is a positive. So I would turn this into this. this. This is what it means to distribute. So notice we're not solving yet. We don't have our equal sign. We're just reviewing the distributive property. So for example number two, right? Now we have um, negative seven. So we have negative seven times two x is negative 14 x. And then negative seven times positive three is negative 21. So those two are reviews for the distributive property. Make sure you're copying that down. And now we're going to solve. So, right, this is called solving equations. We're going to solve now. So we have our equal sign, which means we draw our line, if you'd like to do that. So we're going to distribute. We have 5 times 2x is 10x. And then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And now we go back to our two-step equations. We're trying to get x by itself, so we're going to add 15 on both sides. We have 10x on the left side, and then negative 35 plus 15 is going to give you negative 20. And again, you can use a calculator for this if you need to, if you hate negatives. Unfortunately, they're here to stay. So we're going to divide by 10, and we get x equals negative 2. Alright, so once you're done with example three, I want you to do example number four on your own. Okay, let's look at number four. This one's tricky because there's some negatives, but I saw a lot of good work. So we're going to distribute the two. So two times three is six. Two times negative eight is negative 16x, or negative 8x, and then the 22. Now we get to do our wonderful equal sign, solving for x. Remember, when there's, no num when there's no negative in front of this, this is actually like a positive 6. So we're going to minus 6 from both sides. And then don't forget this is negative 16. So negative 16x equals 22 minus 6 is 16. <laughs> Bless you. And then we're going to divide by negative 16. So don't forget the negative there. We get x equals 16 divided by negative 16 is back to negative 1. So so many negatives, but it's all the same steps. So you just got to be careful. Okay, let's do 5 and 6, and then you guys can do 7 and 8. Okay, so for 5, now we're doing, now it's like monster problem. They're just like getting worse and worse, but you guys can do it. So first, we're going to distribute, right? We see that multiplication, if we're thinking of order of operations like PEMDAS, multiplication comes before adding and subtracting. So combining like terms is adding and subtracting. So we're always going to, we're going to distribute first. So we have 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. And then the rest stays the same. And now we can do um, our line. We notice that on this side we can combine like terms. So that was the same as 6.1, um, the last lesson. So 8x plus 3x is 11x minus 20 equals 2. And now we add 20 to both sides. We get 11x equals 22. And then we divide by 11. We get x equals 2. So even though there's a lot of 
stuff going on, lots of steps. It's all, if you break it down, it's all stuff that you've done before. This distribution you've done before, combining like terms you've done before, solving you've done before, we're just making you do it all at once. All right, this one's tricky. So we're gonna distribute first, but the tricky thing about this is that it's a negative 10. So we have six and then negative, Thanks. negative 10 times D is negative 10 D and then negative 10 times negative four becomes a positive 40. So this is where a lot of people are going to get chipped up right here. And now we can do our equals. So we have 6 plus 40, right? We're going to combine these like terms. There's no letters, but we can still combine them. So 46 minus 10D equals 16. Then we're going to minus 46 from both sides. We get negative 10D equals negative 30 divided by negative 10. Negative 30 divided by negative 10 is positive 3. So D equals positive 3. So like I said, the trickiest part here is distributing when they're both negative. Then it turns back to positive. Yes, I know it's annoying, but that is just the rules of math. Okay, so try 7 and try 8. Even though 8 is a fraction, you can do it. If you need a calculator, just put 1 over 2 in parentheses as a fraction. And we'll go over it together. All right, so for 10, we are going to distribute. Again, this is tricky because we have our negative. So we have 10 minus 6x, and then negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. And then there's two ways you could do it. You could combine this and then subtract, or you could subtract each one. So I'm actually going to just subtract each one. I'm not going to combine like terms. I don't feel like it today. So 10 minus 6x equals negative 14, and I'm going to minus the 10. Negative 6x equals negative 24. Divide both sides by negative 6, and we get x equals 4. You could have combined these two and gotten 13, and then moved the 13 over. You would have gotten the same answer, but both ways work. All right, and then let's do 8. Even though 8 has a fraction, it's, it's not that bad. So we're going to distribute this one half. So think of one half as the same thing as like timesing by one, dividing by two, right? Um, so just like 12 divided by two is six. So six X and then 14 divided by two is seven, but it's negative. So negative seven plus one equals negative 24. We're going to combine these. So six X minus six equals negative 24. Add six to both sides. 6x equals negative 18, and then divide by 6. x equals negative 3. So lots of steps, lots of negatives, but all the same thing. You just have to keep track of your negatives and your like terms. Okay, one last problem on the back. It is the same as 6.1 um, if you remember that, but we're going to do it with the distributive property. So use the distributive property to find x if the perimeter is 26. So we know, again, that the perimeter is adding up all sides. Right? It's our fence. So we know that this is the same on the other side. It's x plus 3 and x. But we want to use the distributive property. So instead of adding them all up, we're going to do two of each, right? So there's two x's, and then there's two of this x plus 3. So we're going to write it like 2 times that side, x plus 3, equals 26. And then we're going to solve it like we did on the front page. Distribute. So we get 2x plus 2x plus 6 equals 26. Combine like terms. 4x plus 6 equals 26. And then finally solve. Negative 6. 4x equals 20. Divided by 4. x equals 5. So we get the same it's the same problem as the last one, but we're just showing you we can use distributive property to show that it's two times this quantity. Uh, the only difference with this problem is I just asked you to find x. So the other one, if you remember, I asked you to find both sides. This one, I said just find x. So this is the final answer, just x equals 5. So there's lots of steps to this, the solving equations with distributive property, but it's all stuff you've done before, so you just got to be careful and keep your numbers organized.